Boom! Welcome to EJ's Jam, a guide to elevate your mindset. Turn within. I see what I see. I feel what I touch. I walk in my shoes. I fall in my sleep. I wake up with more dreams. My feet hit the ground. My feet hit the pedals. My feet keep walking, but my eyes never settle. Looking for the prize. Oh, where could it be? Right between my eyes. Oh, how could that be? The search is a quest. The goal is a prize. Every day is another opportunity to watch the sun rise. Today is a new day. Yesterday is far as far and gone. The future is mine to create. I hear what I speak. Thoughts become words. Word becomes actions. Actions become reality. The power of the tongue. No one seems to know. First come the thought like a seed ready to grow. Then comes the tongue. Now reality is all set to go. I walk what I preach. I hold on to my thoughts. Dreams put me in a daze. Float into an unknown world. Am I trapped in a maze? In a world turned upside down, the safest place to go is within. Trust your heart and follow the soul. For inside is where the true journey begins. That's the truth, and I'm sticking to it. That's the truth. The journey is within. I know we're in a world where it may seem, like I said, it may seem like the outside world is chaotic. It depends. It depends on you and what's going on in your inside world. If you're inside, if inside of you, you're battling yourself, you're fighting yourself, you hate yourself, or you don't like what's going on in your life, then you're outside, it, outside of you, which is the world, what we call the world, but I like to use something what we call the universe, right? And if you break down that word, it's you in verse. The word inverse is inside. So that's you inside out. And that's the secret. That's one of the biggest secrets. And I've been trying to get it out with my program or what I call EJ's Gem, a guide to elevate your mindset is I'm trying to get people to see and understand it all starts with you. Everything that you see going on in the world right now, it all starts with you. It seems crazy or might sound crazy, but I guarantee you, if you learn to take care of self, and learn to take care of how you feel on the inside, slowly, everything will reflect that on the outside. And everybody wants change. Everybody wants to bring about change. But everybody is going about change the wrong way. Everybody wants to attack the other person to point the finger. What are you doing? What are you doing? What did you do? Look at what you did to me. But nobody wants to look in the mirror and look at what they did to themselves. Or how did you get here? Or how did you allow this to happen? Let's start being real with each other. Forget that. Let's start being real with ourselves. Take care of self and everything will fall in place. Because I guarantee you, if every human being on this planet Earth right now took care of all of their emotional internal problems things would change if everybody on this planet earth took care of everything all the turmoil going on inside thinking about the past or this person done me wrong or i hate this i hate that take care of it if we take care of us on the inside and we start loving ourselves more like i mentioned in one of my videos the If you truly, truly love yourself, the more love you have for yourself, the more love that you give out. And I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I get frustrated because I am. I'm a lover of people. I love people. I love all people, especially y'all beautiful women out there. I love y'all. Love y'all so much. But I love people and I want to help people sometimes to a fault. And sometimes I have to understand 
that, you know, I was given a gift. You know, I have a different perspective on seeing things, on how I view life and how I see things. It's just it's a gift that I have. And it's a gift that we all have and we all share the ability to discern, to ability, the ability to tell the, the f- fiction from reality. But things are turned upside down in this world that we live in because from a young age a lot of people were taught to look outside of them to look outside religion i'm sorry I, i'm just being real honest was taught to learn to 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 look outside of them and forget what's going on inside of them we're taught to worship lord knows what instead of listening to self because if I'm not mistaken, if, you know, anybody wants to, you know, you can school me. I don't know everything. But everybody has a spirit and a voice inside of them that's able to discern and basically navigate you through life. Basically will give you certain feelings and sensations in your stomach when it's telling you not to go or not to do. Or when something's going to be challenging because sometimes you get nervous. And you get that same feeling, but you got to conquer it. But it's a little navigation system in there that'll whisper in your ear. It's a little navigation system in there. But you know what? Sometimes it's, it's, it's all in just being in a moment sometimes. And I kid you not. And I want to tell you guys and ladies the truth. When you watch television, you're not in the moment. You're in somebody else's world. And what I'm trying to get you guys and and people to realize is let's tap into your own world, your own vision, your own thoughts and the things that you really want. And I'm telling you, society is good. The more individuals I meet in my lifetime, the more I realize people are good. Just people are confused because what they were taught, what we were taught, because I was taught the same thing. But I've always had an idea a different idea of seeing things because I had an opportunity to, even though I have nine brothers and sisters, I had an opportunity to basically kind of grow up by myself and, and learn. And I had an opportunity to watch people and observe. And I'm telling you guys and ladies, if you ever took the time for yourself, spending time for yourself to understand that your emotions and how you feel and what triggers you learn that and then watch people and I did a lot of that as a kid I did a lot of that as a kid and just so happened to stumble on a subject called sociology psychology and a few things in college and I had an opportunity to work with kids and people and watch kids grow up and I had an opportunity to grow up in the inner city in the quote unquote bad neighborhood and I had an opportunity to be raised by parents who were immigrants so my perspective on life is totally different with everything going on I choose to step back that's my stance that's why I I haven't really besides the first issue that came out that rolled out I did have my opinion on it about like not believing what's going on That's not my reality because I understand the human body and health and how that works. You know, that's just for me. That's for me. And I had to understand that wasn't for everyone. And just like this podcast is not for everyone. I'm okay with that. If my words don't resonate with you, I'm okay with that. Just pass on, go go find a podcast that's for you. But what I want to teach you, what I want to coach you to do is to trust who you are are in trust in the abilities that you have because whatever you want whatever you want you can do it you can do it and like i said i believe in humankind i believe we are we want to be peaceful everybody just wants their peace of mind i believe that i know that for a fact like i said the more people i i I meet and i encounter people are not mean malicious and and do these certain things like so a lot of stuff that's going on for me i just really don't believe it and and the reason why 
The reason why you don't have to agree with me, the reason why I don't believe these things, because I wasn't there. I wasn't there. And if it's something is not happening right in front of me, like meaning if somebody has a camera, I don't care if it's a camera phone, I don't care if it's a regular camera, cam, whatever you want to call it. If I wasn't present for that moment in that moment, then it didn't happen in my world. I'm sorry. That's just how I live my life. That's just how I live my life. And I'm just talking about this when it comes to media and certain things. And I have I have a reason why I I think that way. And just to kind of it's a lot of things that I want to talk about and I need to start talking about these things. It's something called a collective conscious out there that a lot of people don't know about because we don't learn this stuff in school. And the more you watch these things going on and the more it's sucking your energy, it's sucking your energy, it's sucking your energy and it's making you feel bad. It's making you afraid of the world around you. And it's a collective conscious out there. It's a collective conscious out there that we all tap into that we all because we all connected in one way or another. Believe it or not, we're all connected. We're connected to this planet. So if negative messages are going out there there's going to be a lot of people in a negative state of mind in a negative vibration in a negative vibration right so that's going to pull your energy down that's going to force people to do bad things and live in a lower vibration in a survival state and i don't know a lot of people don't understand or know anything about chakras look it up look it up Look it up. And we don't want to be down at that root chakra. We don't want to be down there. You know what I mean? We want to raise our our, our vibration up. We're going to raise it up. That's why my program is called A Guide to Elevate Your Mindset. My goal is to raise your vibration, to keep you in a positive state of mind, because that's when you can create and that's when you become your best version. When you're living, when you're living in that higher when that that higher energy when you're living up there then you can create things you're more peaceful you're more blissful you're happy you're helping people and we can all get there but we got to turn off the nonsense and turn within how do i feel inside of me what is resonating with me right now let me turn everything off everything off even my voice i don't care turn it off spend time with yourself how do you feel about everything where do you want to be who do you want to be who are you are questions that you should ask yourself all right because like i said i see what i see i feel what i feel and i touch what i touch in a world turned upside down, where is the love? Because that's another, that's another solution. True, authentic love is the solution. But do we really need a solution? Because like I said, we have to turn within. We have to turn within and start trusting ourselves individually first. When we start doing that, then we can come together because that collective conscious would be totally different if we're all in a positive state of mind. If we're all vibrating at that high positive energy, the world would be better. We'll be able to create. We'll be able to get along. And certain things, things, I don't want to say certain things will, 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 kind of in a sense disappear but it won't be in your reality meaning you won't pay it any mind it's like when you're driving right you know it's cars you're aware of other cars around you but you're focused on the road and my goal is to teach you how to continue to focus on that road which is your path focus don't let nobody knock you off course they can honk the horn they can speed past you they can do whatever but stay focused stay focused and keep your eye on the prize love yourself learn yourself learn who you are every day the goal is to love yourself more and more every day more and more every day and focus focus be like water and flow do not be bothered 
by everything that's going on. Turn within and you'll find your peace. Jim out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I have to end it, have to end it off first. I have to end it off right. We all go through that roller coaster of life. Why not have a guide to elevate your mindset? Now, Jim out. Thank you.